Goodly morning to you all. This is Chris, and this is Cafe Soda. Well, I am out on my morning stroll. Ha! I call it my morning stroll. It's the morning stroll that I keep telling myself that I'm going to have. But it's not the morning stroll that I actually do have every morning. Why? Because sometimes during this time of quarantine, I'm finding it a little easier to sleep in than I used to. And when I get up, there are some things to do around the house and other things. So I tell myself, hey, just because you're quarantined doesn't mean you can't get out there and stroll. Especially in the morning when most people are probably still waking up, still making their coffee. So do it. So here I am doing it. And here's my morning coffee. My morning coffee is in my Tabasco mug. Got my Tabasco mug. You guessed it, at the Tabasco plant in Louisiana several summers ago. That was a great trip. It's one of my favorites, which is weird to say because every mug that I've ever collected is one of my favorites. Although there are ones that I tend to use more than others. My two most favorite ones are my KFUO mug that was uh, uh, a gift, if you will. Something that they sent me for me giving them a gift. So it was like modern day birthday parties where you take the birthday person a gift and then before you leave, you get a gift. Isn't that pretty cool? Well, I like to support KFUO because they help bring Christ to the to the nations, as it were. I know that's not their slogan, but their slogan is centered around faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. And what better way to do that most days than by just listening to radio, podcasts, whatever. So my other favorite mug, which I tend to use a lot, is my Table Talk radio mug. I don't know if you heard, I think on the Table Talk Radio 500th show, 500 shows of that. Can you imagine 500 shows of Pastor Wolf Miller and Pastor Gagline just getting together and chatting, playing games, all sorts. It's been a great run and they're going to keep going. But on that show, they mentioned that, I don't know, four or five years ago, Pastor Gigline put out a request for anybody who'd be willing to help assemble the podcasts for their podcast page. You know, pastors are busy, and it's not like it takes a lot of time, but he just put that out there, and I said, sure. I'll try that. And here we are five years later, and I'm still assembling them. It's a blessing to me, because I get to hear the show before a lot of people do. And I get to decide what to call the show, what title it's going to have. In the early days, they provided me with a lot of that information, but for some reason now they trust me. I'm not sure why. Hopefully anybody out there who enjoys Table Talk Radio will... Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. Turn around, going home. Uh, uh, is enjoying the titles of the programs. I, I try and make them something where you can tell basically what the content of the show will be. Instead of it being just, here's episode number 499 and come up with some crazy name that when you search, will never point you to that episode. So anyway, so we were in Louisiana a couple years ago, went to the Tabasco place on New Iberia Peninsula, if I'm not mistaken and found that in their gift shop they had a great coffee mug so i chose and now it's on my coffee mug wall and i'll show you that What did I want to talk about today? Well, just real quickly, I wanted to talk about 
Romans 8. Excuse me, my glasses are falling down. Romans 8, all of Romans, is a great book. A lot of people read Romans, though, and sometimes just miss the whole point of Romans. I'm not sure how they do that. But they'll read it, and then they'll come away still stuck in a lot of their false beliefs. Not quite sure how that works. But anyway, I digress. Chapter 8 starts off saying something to the effect of that we consider the sufferings of this world, the sufferings of what we're going through right now, to be nothing compared to the glory that's to be revealed to us. In other words, we have heaven to look forward to. As Christians, since we have heaven to look forward to, that should be where we find our comfort in times of suffering. Now, they were suffering. Early Christians were seriously suffering. We have a pandemic. It's not fun. Nobody wants to get sick. Nobody wants to spread it to somebody else. But at the same time, we're not being dipped in tar and put on poles and lit to light the way for a Caesar. So, we have sufferings of our time, too, but put it all into perspective. All our sufferings, all the sufferings in this world, this world is groaning. It's groaning. This world is fallen. If you think about that, if you think about the fact that this world is just plain fallen, just plain broken, Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, and the world itself, not just mankind, the world itself was broken, was cracked. And I've heard Pastor Wolfmiller say that he likes to imagine at that moment that there was this loud louder than you could ever make and there was the world breaking cracking shattering all the perfection was now cracked and broken and it's not intended to get better honestly i don't mean to make this a debbie downer little video but the world itself is just heading towards an end an end where jesus comes back an end where he restores all things and there's a new heavens and a new earth but in order for that to happen all this has to come to an end I understand the temptation I totally understand the temptation to want to imagine and think that we as mere earthlings want to be the ones who can fix it we can certainly do our part we can be good stewards of the gift that God has given us but even the best stewards can't save a fallen world. They need a savior to save the fallen world. And that can only happen, ultimately, when Jesus comes again. So don't be surprised when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, when you hear of pandemics, when you hear of church bodies going into apostasy, when you hear of divisions in the church and people fighting over stuff that should be settled doctrine. Because these are just birth pains. These are just the beginning. Things have to get worse. And I know that sounds really depressing, but if you think about the fact that as things get worse, we're even closer, we're even closer to things being made new then you can find the ability to be content in all circumstances. And what a joy and relief that is. You can wake up every day and in a sense say to yourself, Lord, if this is the last day, then I look forward to spending eternity with you. If it's not the last day, give me the strength, knowledge, courage, wisdom, that I need to make a difference for your kingdom while there's still time. 
And that's what we should all be about. That's what we should be focusing on during these times of suffering, during these times of pandemic and such like that. So that's my encouragement for you today here in the cafe. It's Chris and he's solo, he's by himself. So he's Cafe Sola. That's not really how it got its name, but it's fun to say. I hope this has been more encouraging than a downer. Focus on the fact that God's in control. And no matter what we humans do, and we will do stuff that'll make it worse. We're not the ones that bring about the end and we can't save it from getting to the end. God's in control of all that timing. The world will not end until he says it's time. So, take heart, be of good courage, and uh, wave to the police officers as they drive by so that they don't come arrest you for not having a mask on. Oh, sorry. But take heart, be of good cheer. For though the end draws nigh, you are in Christ and you will spend eternity with God in heaven. Come Lord Jesus, come quickly, I think it says in Revelation. So, we pray this with the apostles and the prophets. Come Lord Jesus, come quickly. Not because we don't want to continue our meager existences here on this mortal coil, but because to, as Paul said, I believe, to be absent with the bias, to be present with the Lord. So let's be encouraging to one another and spread good cheer and drink good coffee. This is Chris with Cafe Sola. God's blessings on your day.